Hi everyone! Welcome to the Sinotech YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss field parameters, which is a newly introduced feature in Power BI. In May 2022, inside the new parameters option, let me give you an overview of this feature. Go to the mockup. As you can see, I have visualized sales amount by brand. So now in the same visual you want to visualize sales amount by category. Sales amount by brand. Sales amount by product subcategory. Sales amount by color. Sales amount by product name, etc. So previously, we were doing it through drill down, but there was a limitation in drill down that it would only drill down according to the first column of the x-axis. But here in this feature, you can switch the x-axis columns completely according to your needs. Let's implement it. Go to your new page. Select your total sales measure or whatever value you want to visualize. Now go to the Modeling tab, click on New Parameters, and click on Fields in the drop-down. Now a new window will pop up. Input the parameter name, and inside the Add and Reorder field box, add your x-axis columns, which you want to switch inside the x-axis. In my case, I am selecting Color, English Product Category Name, and English Product Subcategory Name. Now click on Create and make sure that the Add Slicer to this page checkbox is marked. After clicking on Create, a slicer will be added to your current page and a new table parameter will be created inside fields. Now select your visual and from that newly created parameter table, select your parameter and drag it to your x-axis of the visual. Now by default, you will see it is showing the first slicer value. In my case, color in the visual. Now go to that slicer and select your different different columns which you have added while creating parameters. In my case, I am switching into English product category name. So as you can see, the x-axis has been switched to product category values. Now let's switch on to subcategory in the slicer. As you can see, the x-axis in the visual has again switched on to subcategory names. So in this way, you can add multiple columns on your x-axis for a single or multiple visuals and switch the x-axis columns. If you like the video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon for regular video updates from Sinotech. Thanks for watching.